Hello Georgia Bands here. Today I'd like to bring you another, uh, today I'm bringing you another Snowy, Mr Snowy Christmas card. And this is using the new in colour papers. So this one is um, Seaside Spray, I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, I got it right. Seaside Spray. So that's why I made that one. And today's card, I'm going to be making it with Rocco Rococo Rose. So we're going to be making it with that one, which I haven't got the pen out for to colour them in. Yeah, Rococo Rose. So for this card, you will need a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for the inside and one for the outside a piece of white cardstock measuring two and a half by three and three quarters two and a half by three and three quarters so that means you have two and five eighths by three and seven eighths in Rococo Rose, Rococo Rose and a bit of scrap for to go behind the sentiment also I have got this designer series in the Roco Rococo Rose colour and I have got one piece at two inches by five, five inches and another piece at half an inch by five and five eighths of an inch and obviously I've got Mr Snowy stamp set stamp uh, the Christmas wishes just comes from a stamp that I have of my own at my own stash and I've got a piece of scrap white card for that sentiment got to get it out but at least I had a bit at my side of me so to get started we're going to stamp that and stamp that we're going to stamp Mr Snowy in Versafine Stamp him. I think I've got him in the middle. I hope. Hmm, not very well. Let's do him again. So if I didn't do it this time I would have stamped them on a bigger bit of card which I did in the first place and then just cut the card down right put him to one side to dry now for the Christmas wishes we're going to do in Rococo Rose just gonna put that there lovely get some scissors out and we will 
cut that. And we'll chop some off the top of it. Let's cut a little bit more. And then that will go on there and we'll cut out some more some of that but that's better wasn't very straight There we have that. That can go in the bin. And keep them in case I need them. I don't think I will, not that small, but. Alright, let's stick this lot down. This for him. Like this, I kind of put it over to the left with even top and bottom. And that's about it. Yeah. And then this bit. I know these are not very traditional Christmas colours, but who said it has to be red and green? And then we'll pop this. You'll see all this week. My cards have been, oh, I've got a little bit showing. Look at that. You'll see all my cards are using up bits of paper. Or oh, foil. Just trying to think, what have I made so far? Yeah, they've all got bits of, not a whole page, just bits of paper or bits of foil on them. I didn't realise when I was doing that, I was doing like kind of the same stuff. But with different pictures on and different layouts. That will go on there, and that will go on there. But first, we need to colour him in. So, with our, uh, what would we do? Rocco Rose we need. I'm trying to put the lid on my glue there. And we're going to colour in his scarf. Trying not to go over the lines. And then 
his hat and this one I'm actually going to colour the whole of his hat in I don't usually colour the whole hat but this time I am this hat um, his orange nose pumpkin pie dark um, smoky slate light just to give him a bit of grounding floating in the air and pink cheeks and that is our snowman coloured oh no Coal needs colouring in. So let's stick this on its mat. on its mat and then add dimensionals off and we're going to stick that so that when it rests on here that doesn't look straight that's better And there is a card without a centre. Do I do anything inside this? No. I did add some gems. Let's put 
three gems down. Ah, I've been adding glue because I find that they don't stay on as long. Or I keep knocking them off, one or the other. There we have it, another, oh, I haven't put the inside in. I must say, it is getting harder and harder to do Christmas cards all the time when we don't buy new stamps. And I'm not buying new stamps out of the Stampin' Up. I've bought the three alight don't like any other and I'm not buying them just for the sake of buying them so I obviously use my own with stamping up products I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.